Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Sean. In this video, I want to talk about Alan Thrall, Ripito Squats, and the big hairy ugly dude being featured in Alan's video. I had a chance to watch a complete video. I uploaded a video earlier, and there were some issues with the video that I wanted to crack, but I'm going to talk about that in this uh, video, talk about that topic in this video. Before I do so, if you have any questions or comments, check out the link below. Come on over, submit your questions. The best questions I turn into videos just like this. All right, so there is some footage of me and Alan Thrall's recent video teaching the squat, and some people really didn't um, understand the context of the footage, so I want to clear up a few things. One of my criticisms of starting strength squat has always been the cues. Now, this is a point me and Alan agree on, that people are taking the cues out of context. So, when I see um, Ripito squats in the gym, people don't really understand the squat, and they're throwing their hips back um, before they descend. Their knees aren't opening. They're, they're not doing everything in a fluid motion. They're not doing everything in unison. They're throwing their hips back in a clunky manner before they initiate the rest of the squat. So they kind of car car compartmentalize the squat. And they do this one cue, and then they open their legs and descend. And that has always been a major criticism I've had with starting strength type squats. This has nothing to do with Ripito. This has nothing to do with the way he teaches. In fact, he doesn't teach it like this. This is just a major issue that I see over and over again with the starting strength squat. And this is something Alan Thrall mentions in his video. Now, a lot of people saw my footage in this video and assumed that I was, assumed what I was criticizing or assumed my point. So I want to make this video and clear things up. Um, do I believe the Ripito starting strength squat is the best for most beginners? No. Is it a viable method of squatting? For some people, yes. But my major issue with the starting st strength squat is that it's, it's almost always done incorrectly by people in the gym. They kind of carp compartmentalize the cues, they throw their hips back, they even hyperextend their lower back, which is something Mark Ripito doesn't teach, so they tend to throw their hips back, look down, and then they descend and open their knees, and this isn't the way things are supposed to be. Things are supposed to be done in unison. This is something Alan Thrall mentions in his video. So, I don't want to get in a long ramble about the squats and, and what I think is best, but um, for those of you that think that I am teaching those of you that don't understand what I've been teaching or what I've been commenting or don't understand my criticisms of the starting strength squat. It wasn't necessarily of the starting strength squat style. It is usually about the application or how the average gym rat um, takes this cue, this hips back cue, throws her hips back like six inches, gets in almost a good morning position, and then starts to descent and opens their knees. Now, whether I think starting strength squats are the best for beginners and advanced lifters, you guys know how I feel. There are many advanced lifters that actually use the starting strength squat. This isn't a criticism. This is reality. This is what I see in gyms and at powerlifting meets. Uh, I don't believe it's the best squat method. I don't believe it's the only squat method. Um, so let's just get that out of the way. It can be viable for some lifters, but uh, at the end of the day, it's not, in my opinion, just not the best method for most lifters. But regardless of my opinion on the squat, the major criticism I've always had has been with the application, and this isn't Ripito's fault. And uh, me and Alan Thrall have discussed, and we, uh, we both discussed this point in his video, and I'm discussing it in my video, we both agree on this point, that people tend to comp compartmentalize these cues. They tend to turn it into a, a series of events, hips back and then descend, and this is wrong. They should be done in unison, and that has always been my point, and I've made that point clear clear in many, many videos in which I reference the starting strength squat. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, check out the link below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.